what's up guys I know it's been uh, it's been a while obviously since my last upload and the reason obviously for it is because uh, uh, the car was down for about uh, I'd say about um, three to four weeks actually and if you guys already seen the thumbnail obviously it is it is what it is uh, I, someone hit the car and as you can see the, the damage basically was the, like the whole just front end of it like the wheel the front bumper the lip, you know, and the fender and whatnot. So that's basically what. It is. done but it's not done and this is probably like maybe like the the third time this that this is the second time I brought it home but this is a, the third time that I had to do something with it because obviously it hasn't something hasn't been done I feel that needs to be redone and of course it has to be redone because when you guys see it you guys gonna be like damn really and this is why you choose a big company uh, repair shop really when you do certain things to your car because Obviously, if you don't have a good company doing it, they're just going to be like, oh, no, it wasn't our fault or whatnot. That's why you have a good company. And, and I chose this company because it was a big company and I, it had a lot of good reviews. And then when I used to work for a rental company, a lot of people told me, oh, yeah, this is a really good company. And I was like, OK, they do a really good job. Then I'll go ahead and test them out. And well, the job is good. They do. The customer service is fantastic. You know, they do really help you out. I got a rental car for like. I think it was like almost a week because of what the, they call warranty wise. If they, you don't like what they, they did to the car, you're not satisfied, then they'll go ahead and get you a, a rental car for free. So that's basically what it was. And of course, knowing that, you know, everybody's in this crisis here. Uh, so uh, well, we have a pandemic, I guess, we have going on. I mean, that's another reason why obviously I haven't done anything, but it gives me a lot more chance to do something now. Now that, you know, uh, I'm not at work right now, not because, uh, you know, I got laid off or anything. It's because I actually have the luxury and the company that I work for actually having to leave is what is a, a sick leave. I'm not sick, so I don't have anything. It's just the fact that my kids are out of school, my wife works, and who's going to be taking care of the kids within this time? So I have enough sick hours to where... I can actually take those days off and actually obviously still get paid and still take care of my kids. When, uh, holding the cameras is, is, is my daughter. Hi. <laughs> so she's back there of course. She, so this is one of the stuff that you know you can do when you know something like this and staying at home that you have to kind of do. You guys know I like running and I do a lot of running stuff so it, it is a little hard to stay home but I do run when I have to, when I need to I would say. Not when I have to, but when I need to. And I haven't ran in a couple days, but that's just because it's been raining a lot. Uh, enough about all that. You guys know the whole thing. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how the crash was, obviously. It was really not a big crash. It was just like a fender bender thing. Kind of slide off to the side of me and whatnot. But then you guys will see the damage. And then you guys see how they, they fix it. I mean, and everything looks really good, but it's just some stuff that I don't like. So, you guys check it out right now. So, what's up guys? Well, this happened. Yep. As you can see. Yeah, car was hit. And yep, you can see that there. Yeah, oh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, it looks bad, but at the same time it's not that bad but it is and well, that happened but the, hey that's why you have insurance guys that's why you have insurance and so it's been a while I already take the pictures and everything insurance already has everything so uh, it's time to clean it up just because I don't want to be 
driving around with this big ass scar, scratch, everything on there until they they fix the car. So. All right, so we're gonna start with the, the defender and the wheel, obviously. This is, this part right here, obviously, is the part that, that was that was messed up. The wheel was messed up, of course. It was all beat up on there. And then the fender, obviously, it, what you guys saw, it was messed up as well. So as you can see now, it's super fixed. I mean, it looks really good. I mean, and then the wheel itself looks really good. You know, it looks good. But like I said, uh, I don't like how it came out. The wheel does, to me, the wheel does not look the same. The color is not the same. It's a little lighter. And obviously I paid a lot of money for these wheels. So they're, if I get something painted, it's gonna be the, that way, the same way as the other one. I don't know if, it, if you can tell in the camera, but hopefully you can. It will show you the wheel. This wheel is the one that, that got messed up. So this right here is all nice and fixed now. The lip now, of course, is fixed again. Check out the nice gloss they got to it. There you go, it looks good. And then the headlight also was messed up right here. So they had to replace the whole headlight, of course. And then hopefully that you guys can see that the, the wheels look a different color. We're gonna show you how it looks. So if you guys saw the, how the wheel looked there, this is the other wheel. This is the original, obviously, the one that didn't get messed up. Let's see if you guys can see any difference. Pull back a little bit. And, Let's see if you can. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're gonna go on the stuff that I didn't like. The stuff that I said, well, you know, they could do better. So if you can if hopefully the camera catches this. I don't know, but if you see this here, this part here, here, I'm not sure if it catches it on the other uh, video. And but here. So, and then there's a part right here, this part right here. So, when I got the car back, I noticed that there was a big dent on that side. And I was like, why is there a dent there? So, obviously they took care of it. It wasn't a dent that was there before. This wasn't nowhere near for what the accident was. So I was like, why was there a dent there in the beginning? You know, they shouldn't, they fixed it. Of course, there's no dent no more. But obviously, as you can see, there is that paint. I don't know if it's clear coat or paint blob, whatever it is. But of course, they said they're going to fix it as well. It's still so they have a problem. I don't know what the problem is, what they're getting. But when they paint the wheel, they mess up. And then we have the reason why they mess up. They mess up by right here. You guys see that right there? That's it. Right here. That's a scratch. Every time I get this, this is this wheel has been done three times. And off the three times they've done it, they scratch the wheel there when they put it back on. And it's just frustrating that you can't put a wheel on and not scratch it. When I had, obviously, this is the second pair of uh, tires that I have on the car. Actually, third from the stock one. And when I changed these out for these, uh, I never got a scratch when they they put on the wheel especially when I got them brand new remember when I I posted it on there um, my last the first video that we got there was nothing there there was no scratches whatsoever so I don't know how this company is not able to do it and at the same time that that happened with that dent over there on that other side of, of the passenger rear they scratched the rear tire they made a big gash in the tire which you're also, you're gonna see a picture of that as well. I'll like show you a picture on that one. And I was like, what the hell? So of course they also fixed it as well. But like I said, the same problem that we have in the front one where they keep on scratching the tire, they also scratch the tire in this one as well. And I mean, I don't know where it's at here. Oh, there it is. Let's see if you can catch that right there. If you can see that on camera, there's a big gash right here. And also right here as well. So I'm like, ah, I don't understand how it's so hard for them to like put on a wheel on there. And of course, I think it's not the same. The color's not the same. So if you, if we can see it from back here, I mean, I feel like the color is a little lighter. 
It's a little lighter from there. From the two. So this is the ones that they worked on. The two, the driver's side and the passenger sides are the original color. These are the repainted ones. I think that they're a little lighter, honestly. Just a tad bit. So they're going to fix that as well. So hence why I said it's done but not done. And I mean, it's just like, it's been a constant, like, oh my God, something new happens. So if you guys try to take it out from here and see the wheels there. I mean, I feel like they, these are a little darker with more of a sheen. And check this tire wheel as well. But I mean, you guys let me know. Maybe I'm being a little too critical, but of course, when you pay that much money for wheels, you want them to be exactly like you had them before. All right, so that's obviously it for the car. I mean, uh, while we're here and we can't go nowhere really, I mean, as you can see, the the garage that that side there. Remember, I told you the other episodes that uh, you know, we'll we'll get this fixed. Maybe now I can do that and actually get put because on this side they actually have, you know it all boarded up and whatnot so then I could paint it and whatnot yeah so maybe I can but I already started a little bit as you can see right here I got little stuff to put everywhere on there to put the stuff and as you guys notice we do have toilet paper and some for some uh, what, other stuff there but we're not those kind of people we didn't hoard this is way before this even happened this happened we got this like when we actually got the garage so this was a long time ago so don't think that we were the one of those people around there so we'll see it's pretty smooth that yeah i just noticed it you know i do actually a good job at actually detailing my car so no this wasn't done when i got uh my car done they do a, a shitty job in cleaning my car so i came home and that's how i figured everything that was wrong with it because i clean my own car and i detail my own car and I detailed it up to the whole place where I knew everything. I know every nook and cranny of this car because from everything I've done, everything to my car. So I know what's wrong and what isn't wrong with the car. Hopefully uh, this gets done and we're good to go and then maybe you guys will see us fixing this garage up a little more. But other than that, you know, you guys stay safe, you know, make sure you guys are, you know, staying home when you need to, you know, because maybe it is maybe it isn't who knows but well, let's just try and try to stay safe everybody see you on the next one